G'day, mate. Welcome back to Gabriel Industry with me, GT. In our last episode, we spent some time getting advanced diesel up and running and hooking into our power generation. So we are not only getting more diesel for our crude oil, but also any waste products that we have, we're obviously doing the right thing with them and turning them into free power. Today's episode, we have problems and I need to find the solutions. Uh, that's going to be the bottom line. There is a whole list of problems that I already have and a whole list of solutions I need to come up with for this particular map. So with an introduction out of the way, I need to ask a very important question. Of course, the very important question is always, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video. Well, that's okay. You can come up with the solutions instead. First thing I like to do at the start of every episode is I like to thank those that go above me on, those that choose to support the channel. And today I need to name two wonderful trucky boys. I need to name one after Mal Freezance and the other one after the wonderful Lord Balman. Let's go with Balman. Balman, uh, thank you both for choosing to become YouTube members. Thank you both for choosing to support the channel. Also, thank you to the wonderful members that are also receiving absolution from Adblocker and getting early access to these videos. Today, we need to look through our problems and our solutions. So, our first problem is vehicle parts. I'm not making them. We haven't been making them for any time, for a long time. So I can't actually, I don't even have enough vehicle parts to make another truck. So that's problem number one. Our second problem is the sheer lack of workers. I've only got four available which means I need more housing. The problem is I don't have any room for housing. Problem number three is potatoes. Potatoes are trending downwards. If we click on our little potato list and we click on potatoes, 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 search P, potatoes. And that graph is not very helpful, but that graph is very, very helpful. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, problem number four is with the lack of space to put any more farms in to, um, well, have any more potatoes. Uh, the simple answer is we'll just take a quick loan, except that brings us to problem number five. I can't build a trading dock. So we need to work through each one of these problems one by one as the lightning comes in and um, hopefully work out a way to survive the art. So we're going to work backwards, starting off with our lack of a way to get a dock, also a lack of a way to get oil. And um, we're going to load Mr. Shippy Shippy with more oil. Next thing I need to do is uh, get more vehicles. Because more vehicles I have means the quicker we can dump stuff, stuff in the sea, the quicker we can dump stuff in the sea. In theory, uh, the quicker I can have a dock. So um, we're going to get some vehicle parts. I'm going to remove uh, that vehicle depot. And I'm going to jump to my blueprints. Update number one. I'm going to grab vehicle depot. And I'm going to get parts two and depot two and we're gonna put you here no i need three tiles for a truck to get through here i'm gonna put it there and play it safe no i'm, I'm gonna risk it i'm gonna risk it uh we're in building mode so i can just drop that there okay so the simple plan for this one is vehicle parts one will come in on this belt which is not going to work for me because that belt's going to stick out uh, we're going to have to use this box instead and change you to be a vehicle. Well, no, it's construction parts. Vehicle parts one. Cool. Uh, on top of that, to make vehicle parts one, I need to have mechanical parts, iron, electronics. The good news is I have iron, electronics, and uh, mechanical parts all right here. So I need to build them into this structure. Then to make vehicle parts number two, which I can't even build yet. I need to get the research done, and then we start making vehicle parts number two. Uh, this doesn't have a good way of getting storage out for right now. The idea is, well, trucks will export from this building and put them into the vehicle depot. Yeah, I can't even get vehicle depot too, because we don't have the research. Research is on the list. It's the fifth in the list, so it's a little while away. So what I want to do is I want to plug in... Yeah, three tiles. Three tiles is my absolute minimum to make sure I can get a truck in here. I just saw a truck in here, but we'll just double check. Yeah, there's only a one tile gap. Okay. All right. So I need to get this built. So we're going to unpause this, unpause this, unpause that, that, and that. Uh, well, technically, I don't need that unpause just yet. Uh, and as for this, we're going to hopefully do this with belts rather than boxes. Uh, okay. So uh, let's start with electronics uh r okay so we can come up over there and enough workers 
Yeah, that was a problem. Um, okay, electronics, done. Uh, can I... You need to build that belt and that belt. All right. Mm, I might want you coming in there instead, actually. In fact... Yeah, I know. Belt... I know, Belt, you don't like touching yourself. It's fine. Okay? We'll have you as two separate segments. Okay. That's even better. That gives me a little bit of wiggle room. All right. So that's item number one. Item number two being iron is right here. Uh, and then item number three being mechanical parts is right there. So uh, for the first time ever, I'm going to use a vertical belt. Mainly because I just don't have the space. Do, do, do. I do not have the space to get a... Mm, a ramped belt in here properly. Uh, my catch... Ooh. Nope, I'm not even going to use the vertical belt. Uh, I'm going to come out around the rear. Yeah, because my catch with the vertical belts, and let's put you in here. So you're going from height one to height two. Yeah, just live there for one second. Which means if I want to run a height three belts over the top, uh, I can't because... Just live there, belt. Uh, F11. You actually stick up one extra height. So this has been my issue with vertical belts and the increased power usage. The, the increased power usage has gone away. The devs uh, did did take the criticism of the, the constructive feedback about that and um, stopped it using as much power. Uh, I have no idea what's not running. What is not running? Eh, that. Okay. Uh, can I fix that problem by pausing... You, 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 and you. Because I don't technically need them running anymore. We're on better power now. Okay. So they did take the constructive fee uh, feedback about the belts consuming, or the vertical belts consuming too much power. Uh, yeah, I know. You don't like touching yourself, even though you're a ghost. And that should get us out of trouble. Okay. And then I need mechanical parts. Uh, but I don't know if the devs are going to listen to feedback about the whole vertical belt stick up higher because it's like, you know, the has a bonus, but then it has a drawback. Um, how the hell am I going to get that in there? I'm going to hate everything I just did. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, can I... Remove that. And remove that. Okay. So if you go in there and you go in there... And then hopefully uh, cut that. And then hopefully we can have you come out of tile and ramp down here. And even then, uh, I prefer to use a ramp than using a vertical belt. Yeah. Uh, okay. With that done, you should be able to get all three inputs. Uh, I'm within two tiles of these boxes, so the trucks can still access these boxes. And I can start making construction uh, vehicle parts number one, which is great because I need another diggy boy and a couple of trucky boys. I have the ability to have 100 vehicles, and I'm well short of 100 vehicles. Uh, also means Mr. Shippy Shippy load up with more oil. Okay, so we can start making uh, vehicle parts. I don't have a way to store them, and honestly, I don't need a way to store them. I'm perfectly fine with having zero buffer for the moment because we want to get to vehicle parts too relatively quickly. But to do that, I need to get workers, which is my second problem. My second problem being, well, there's technically not enough room for me to put this in and get vehicles around the outside. So what we're going to do is going to do it anyway. Uh, we're going to disconnect this pipe here and this pipe here and also disconnect this pipe here and this pipe here. Cool. Uh, can I disconnect that and disconnect that? And then after they've disappeared, put in the extra town settlement. All right. Before they even have a chance to, well, unpause it, uh, we're going to run our new pipes. Yep. At height two. Around here. Oh, that's too far. Uh, to there and plug that back in there. And then I'm going to cut that, hold down shift, put it down, uh, press the E button to pick the whole pipe up and raise it up a tile and put it back down. Okay, so that should get my pipes in and done. And then hopefully my diggy boy 
can still reach around the outside and get the last little bit of digging done so I can get another town because um, I need more town and settlements. I also need to have that science running. Now, technically, Mr. Diggy Boy is going to have a problem that he can't get fuel. So um, hopefully he finishes digging a way out before he runs out of fuel. Yeah, otherwise we're going to get some notification about no fuel. All right, no headphones has nothing to chop. Uh, that's fine. We'll find you more things to chop, Mr. No Headphones, which means I should have enough room for a farm. Now, farm-wise, I need to flip the farm and I need to put them facing one another with a one-tile gap at the bare minimum. Okay, so I need a farm in here, which is going to need more water. Water is not over here. Water is over here. So I need to grab my water pipe, run it... Ground level. Thank you. Up to the corner. Thank you. And into there. Cool. Low food supply. Yeah, I called it. I called it. We're going to need farming. Okay. Now, I don't have any order magic way of getting food into our little food market because I cheated to start with and go with direct storage, which means, well, the trucks are in charge of delivering the potatoes when the potatoes are ready. It's something I just need to deal with. Okay, there's no good solution right now. Uh, minus 13 workers is bad. The good news is we have uni, which can fix anything. So out to the map view, uh, load up with oil whilst we're here. And at this town, for the price of 2.5 uni, I can buy 10 slaves. Uh, so we're gonna click that button, which is gonna take me down to minus two workers. Now I could run the beacon and I'd have 18 refugees in 11 months. And 11 months is 11 times one uni, which is 11 uni uh, compared to two and a half for 10 slaves. Yep, yeah, uh, slavery is very profitable. All right, I need to dig faster. So we're gonna send a second diggy boy uh, over to help first diggy boy. Um, and hopefully second diggy boy can undig, well, dig out first diggy boy, and then we can have access in and out. Uh, I need to get another couple of pickups because I'm gonna start using them. All right, so that's problem one done, problem two done, problem three done. We do have enough vehicles or enough room for vehicles to get around here. So we should be go okay there. And you can't find a way out. So that's okay. We need the recovery button. And you're going to pop back out here and be ready to um, go dig again. All right. So one problem done. Two problems done. Three problems done. Uh, lack of space for farm. Four problems done. Uh, dock. So dock, we are filling out to this number two. Once we get to this number two, we should be okay. And I should be able to build a dock. In the meantime... I need to find other things to do with our time and um, our digging power. So, uh, first thing I need to do is I need to take this coal sorter. It's very, very much in our way. Uh, this is all flat. Can I remove that so we can actually see what we're doing half the time? Okay, I need to take this coal sorter. And I need to... No. Mining. Can I have just two tiles? Cool. Uh, I need to take this coal sorter and I need to move it out of the way. Uh, we're going to put it here up against the tower out of my way and we're going to uni build the whole thing and then i'm going to uni destruct this one cool uh invalid route well yeah look with the power of uni the box is empty and you stop complaining cool then it instantly goes over here also with the power of uni you're also empty all right so that solves that problem next problem we're going to have is more resources i need more resources coming in we're finally caught up with coal and copper and iron and everything else. Uh, the problem is past jetty sort of screwed up and I don't have enough room in here for a smelter. Um, flip. I am one tile short. Now, I'm one tile short either, either for a copper smelter or an iron smelter. Either or, I need to do something about it. So, what I'm going to do is slide the iron smelter over by a tile because I still need to build steel, build steel which is going to have to go here and leave myself potentially room for a copper or an iron in the future but it also means i need to slide everything down here over a tile as well so we're going to copy this mess and then we're going to delete this mess well that failed i forgot there's no history okay i'm going to put this on top of this build okay if I add a connector on there, you can output, uh, and you can output, you're gonna output 12, you're gonna output 12, we're gonna have 24 at this connector, and then at this connector, we're gonna have 48, the belt moves 60, we should be fine. As for you, uh, we're going to remove you, remove you, uh, pick you back up, and put you one tile over, 
hook in your thingamajiggy bob, remove the slag belt, remove the coal belt, move the coal belt over a tile, and also replace the slag belt that's gonna go to there, and then, oh my god, really? Uh, go to there, and then over a tile. Yep, that works for me. Okay, and then we're gonna rebuild you. All right, so I have enough room in the future to either build one of these flipped here, like lining up the bottom half of the bottom half and the top half of the top half, or uh, putting in an iron one instead. What's your issue? Ah, I didn't put in one of those. Yeah, I can see the issue there, cool. All right, no headphones, there's no trees to harvest. That's what I like to see. Uh, no headphones, can you remove these trees and these trees and these trees? Okay, so that's got me a little bit of room in here. Also, at the same time, I have unlocked construction part three, which should go after construction parts two. I've also unlocked steel, which should go probably iron, copper, steel. Yeah, steel's an odd one. Okay, uh, which means I want to get those up and running. So I need to have an assembly machine that can make steel. I also need to get steel into this box and make construction parts three. Okay. We're going to remove that. We're going to replace it with that one. I'm going to set you to construction parts three. And we're going to put a second one there. Okay, I need to get that working. I also need more workers, which means we're going to go out to the world map and uh, adopt four more slaves. Cool. Oh, also load us up with the oil. All right, so I need to get steel running. Now, steel means I need to put down the steel smelter. We test built the steel smelter last episode. So all we need to do is somewhere to find somewhere to put it. Which is gonna be right here. I don't really have a better choice. Uh, yes, yeah, lags on the outside, so we're gonna remove that and copy that and shove you here. Cool. All right, so the easy parts. The easy parts is, I, the easy part is flip, flip, cool. The easy part is iron goes in there uh, and Coal goes above. Uh, we can run iron into that one and then coal into that one and into, whoop, connect, and then into that one. Cancel. All right, uh, next thing is gonna be slag. Slag on this side is gonna just jump on that slag belt. On this side, we're gonna come to here and then we're gonna go to there. Okay, that should be our iron and our, co and our coal and our slag. Uh, the only other thing I need to work out is we're doing nine, so we're gonna call it 10. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This is the maximum amount of smelters I can support off the current coal belt. Uh, iron is 2448, but I plugged into a connector. So we only have 48 going that way. I'm gonna have 48 going the other way. So I'm okay on our current tier of belts, but it does mean that it's time to get some belts done. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And then, oh boy. Okay, we'll work that one out in a minute. Uh, and that one done. And I don't need that on the end. You're gonna have one of them. And into there, you're gonna be deleted. And you'll have steel. And yeah, I know, none of workers. We're working on it. Okay, wrong button. And I need those two belts done. All right, can I also build you and you and all of you? All right. That's a good side. Mm, maybe stop. Can I cut that? That's a legit placement. Okay, so if we slide you as far forward as possible, uh, you're being blocked by the shipyard. So that was the tile I was looking for. But if I come back a tile, you can go there. Okay, if I put you there, and then cargo docks, fluid module. I have three tiles. That's all the free space I have if I build you there. Compared to four tiles. Okay, it's technically enough. Okay, uh, we have a high supply of wood. We can fix that. Oh, no, we can fix that by... Pause, 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 pause. Cool. Uh... Where are you trying to go? Please don't try and build these things. Huh? Why are they full of water? 
that has water. Oh, there's a ghost pipe. Okay, that explains so much. Okay, uh, so we're full on wood, which means I need to get my alternative wood storage up and running. Uh, turns out it works way better if you build that one damn pipe. And I'm out of uni. Okay. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Oh, look, the water's flowing. Hey! Okay. All right, so that solves that problem, uh, sort of. High supply of wood. I don't have a better option right at the moment except clicking that button. I have enough uni for that, but not enough to build a water thingy. Okay, fine. So be it. All right. So we're going to have to move the wood out of the way. I also need more people still. I have three workers to my name. Uh, I now have seven workers. You need eight. You need six. You need four. And you need six. Cool. Uh, more workers. The best way for me to get more workers right now is probably going to be the growth boost. Yeah, it's probably going to give me the best bang for my buck. But then again, like our uni is bad. It is really bad. Um, and it's a percentage bonus. So, it, uh, you know, the bigger the town is, the more people you can have. And I don't have a big town. Uh, can I get a, another diggy boy and a couple more trucky boys? Because the faster I get terraforming happening, the better. All right. So I'd really like to get steel up and running. Uh, we can build that part. And... Eight workers. Uh, I'm going to have two per cycle compared to 11 months, wasn't it, for the beacon? 18 and 11 months. Yeah, it's it's better to have the growth boost. Like, if their health was better, I'd have more natural growth. But um, there's a small minor issue with their health. I don't know what it is. Uh, can I apply... Why are you guys not digging? You can't get there and you haven't even realized you can't get there and you're not complaining you can't get there. You're annoying. For the record, you're annoying. You're super annoying. Okay, uh, dig that out, please. I want this area flat and then we can work on flattening the next bit. Um, you... I need one more tile. I need this, this two here to be done. All right. So with more vehicles comes more responsibility. Uh, do we have research? No, this is not done. Uh, and we're working our way through captain's office, which will help our trades. And then we're going to do large vehicles. Okay. So more people are still my answer. I have 16 people, which means I should be able to get you, 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 and minus two. Uh, the black market, the answer is, uh, I'll take one person. Minus seven workers. Well, that failed. Uh, side note. Load with cargo. Uh, minus five workers. So what are we turning off when I have not enough workers? We're turning off a lab. I can live without a lab. Yeah, we can live without a lab. All right. So we should have steel running. Just a little bit. The tiniest amount. Uh, yep, you're running. You're running. Uh, cool caster is not running. Okay, I forgot about getting the water in there. So I need to bring water out from here. I need to bring it... Let's go all the way up to height number three. And then I should be able to come over the top of the other casters and then down to this tile oh, over this tile down to ground level i've got the r mode on which turns off the magnet so it doesn't try and attach the things until i physically mouse over something and then it should try to attach and which way do i have the water going the opposite direction okay can i flip that pipe and you're going to plug in there and in theory i will have water to the cool caster the cool caster shall be cool and therefore i now understand why all the trucks were complaining about needing to find water up on the mountain it's because they were trying to run this and this didn't have any water piped into it. But I'm now down to zero workers. So we're getting there bit by bit. So with water running, I should have steel. Steel needs to go into uh, this box. Uh, so I, can I unpause you, please, sir? Uh, and unpause you. And then steel needs to come into this belt. Uh, that belt's not paused. It's the belt underneath that's paused. Yes, the bottom belts remain paused because they go into storage. And this is our, um, if shit hits the fan, sir, and we suddenly need to have all the belts, well, all the lower tier construction parts upgrade to the next tier of construction parts, we unpause this belt. And it just runs everything in storage into the next tier straight away. Yeah, normally they're built and you leave them in this pause state. I'm gonna save the construction parts for right now and not bother building them. And we're gonna have more room for more construction parts. Okay, so. 
I need to get steel in. At the same time, I need to get steel in here. Uh, because it's next to your machine, isn't it? Assembly three. It is assembly three. Uh, which needs the next tier of construction parts. I want to get the next tier of construction parts because we are currently using 15 iron to make 12 mechanical parts. I can use 12 steel to make 24 mechanical parts. 24 mechanical parts, if I'm using iron, is going to cost me 30 iron. If I'm using steel, it's going to cost me 12 steel. 12 steel is equivalent to 24 iron. So it's a slight reduction in price, but I do need to have the next tier of machine. But if I have the next tier of machine, I could pause this one outright. So that's my next plan, but that means I need to get steel into here, which is going to be awkward as hell. Uh, build. Okay. Um, oh, actually. So I get to here without a problem. Okay. Uh, we should be able to uh, come. Go away. All right. We should be able to put a demand on that. Better. Okay, we should be able to come from that tile at height number one, all right the way through to here, then go out of tile, and I want to get into this belt down here. So I should be able to go to there, and then, no, I can't hit that. Uh, but I can go to here, and I can put in a vertical belt to drop down by a tile, or I could just plug in. I think I want to plug in. Uh... Is there a way to do that neater? Not with that connector there. Yeah, okay, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, we're gonna plug that in there. We're gonna unpause you and get you built as well. I have steel running, which means I need to do the other type of pause on this belt. And I need to wait till I have 25 construction parts. So I need to unpause you, 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 and you. Uh, also, I'll add a loop back belt into there. Uh, thank you. And that should... How much do you have? Two here. That's so horrible. So bad. That's even worse. We're down at 20%. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shippy Shippy, load up with crude oil. Yeah, that's so much worse. Okay. And we finished on the research. All right. Uh, we have steel smelting. That's been done. Vegetable farming. We can plant vegetables. That's nice. Uh, construction parts three. We've done that. Ship armor requires the ship to come back. The ship's collecting oil currently. Same goes for the weapons. Uh, water recovery is something I really like to build. But that means I need these parts up and running. Uh, I need these parts up and running. And yes. So the way this construction monstrosity works is we make, big, we make construction parts number one. Construction parts number one come through here and they get split 50-50. So once these boxes are full, it can no longer split 50-50 because this belt will back up and therefore 100% of the construction parts will go into here. If I have two of these machines, they can run two of these machines at full speed. If I'm splitting 50-50, you're only going to have one of these running at full speed. But then we're going to feed into the next machine or the next row, which means again, if I have both of these machines are full and backed up, well, then we can run two of these machines, which means I want to have a second machine. I don't have a second machine. Did you just deliver stuff directly there? I have no idea. Uh, wood storage is not full, but it's going to be in a second. All right. So I need to upgrade you, and I need to upgrade you, and I need to upgrade you. And you know what? Why don't you have parts, JD? Well, see, I mass upgrade things. All right. Ooh. No, that'll be fine. Okay, and then I want to deconstruct that one, and I want to deconstruct... Technically, I don't need that one deconstructed, actually. I just need this one deconstructed. Yeah, that'll give me the room to get in a second one of these, and I have four parts. Oh, my God. All right. I have a lot of parts, too. Why is there no power? That, that's a weird error message for you to have. Uh, okay, so you are going to be import. Uh, we're going to upgrade you. Or maybe we're not. Can you show me your navigation overlay? I don't know if you can. Uh, no, if you can. We don't have that ghost belt. 
Uh, can you calculate into here, please? Yeah. Okay. I, I've seen. I've seen enough. Okay. You can drive to here, which means you can access this box. Okay. That's all I really need. Uh, okay. So we're going to definitely have that there. All right. So I need 25 construction parts to get this guy upgraded to start saving us iron. So we're going to hit that button. Now it's going to cost me 15 steel as well. I don't really have the steel, but I do have a couple of workers. So if I spend six workers here, plus a few workers here, plus a few workers here, does that mean I just doubled my steel? It does, except there's one pipe not built. Okay, so if my, my steel production is doubled, then I'm now going to be producing 24 steel. Uh, so that means steel should be able to get in here and upgrade this without a problem. It's done. But um, I can't get you running faster. I can't feed you faster unless I stop having a... Unless I have no headphones bored. Uh, no headphones. Can you remove this section of trees next? Yeah, you know what? I don't have any future plans. So we're just going to have you just chew everything. Okay. All right. Uh, so steel is running, and what was I saying? I was saying that I can only mass make construction parts three if I mass force in a whole lot of construction parts two, which means I'm going to build our loop back belt. So the loop back belt, uh, we're gonna unpause you and unpause you and 0.7 uni. Yeah, I've got 12 uni, we can afford that just. All right, so we're going to run that in there. What that's going to do is it's going to empty this storage. Technically, this storage is separate, which is going to get 50% of 50%. So this is going to have 25% of our construction parts in it at all times. But with this belt running, that means that, well, potentially this whole storage can go into here at full speed. Also means I can uni boost, and I'm definitely going to have the 12 construction parts fed into this as fast as possible, even though I only make 12 because no matter what, we have a decent storage to bleed through. So that should get this upgraded. If I get this upgraded, that fixes my iron problem somewhat. Uh, and then I'm going to enable both recipes, both the steel and the iron recipe. And then we should be okay, hopefully. And then I can get the water recovery. Uh, can I, whilst we wait, water recovery. So we've researched the cooling tower. The cooling tower will let me take a nice hot steam and turn it into nice cool water. So I need to have these guys built. Now these are 30 construction parts each along with concrete slabs. Concrete slabs not worried about. The construction parts three I am worried about. I'm also worried about negative one worker. How'd that happen? Oh, we upgraded that machine. That's how it happened. Okay, so you're gonna run at twice the speed. So I don't need this guy running which is technically going to mean less workers. I'm also going to enable this recipe and whoop. I'm going to up the priority, not that it matters, and I'm going to unpause this belt. With this belt unpaused, it means I can have steel come through to here, which means I'm going to both end up with both iron and steel on the same belt. And if I pause this belt, well, then I'm only going to end up with steel on here. Now, at the end of the day, I can have either iron or steel on the belt because it has both recipes enabled, but this should free me up a whole lot of iron that I can do things with. Hopefully, if I had people. What are you guys doing? You're spending half the time just sitting there thinking about it and not actually digging. Have more trucks. Like, more trucks. I got five workers. One, two, three, four, five. No, cancel. Five. Okay. All right. I have zero workers available. I need more workers. Okay. So we have construction parts three coming in. We have low crude oil. We have Mr. Shippy Shippy can load up more crude oil. And are you done yet? You might be done. Okay. Can I move you? You made a hole. You made a hole. Please fill in the hole. Okay, I can see there's a hole and it's the wrong color. Now it's the right color. Okay, can 
Can I put... Just go away. Go away. Alright, can I remove your options? You're not allowed to fill in anything until that's perfect. Perfectly flat. Perfectly flat. Stop. Bad trucks. This tile. Yeah, leap, yeet more stuff off the cliff. Here, you can do the one beside it as well. I guess you can do this one as well. It's sort of not going to help. But come on. Can I get cargo docks? Can I get cargo depot? Can I finally build the damn cargo depot? Okay, I'd really like to build it here. Cool. Uh, how many researchers away? We're one research. Okay. Uh, can I now fill in all of that? So our cargo depot, uh, helps if I pick it back up, is going to go in this tile, which means it's going to come right up to the edge of our designation. Uh, yep, because that is as far this way as I can build. So I want to make sure that we do this tile here is filled in. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to have those to enable. I want to make sure this is all done and it's it's sturdy ground before I build that. Because there is a chance that if they, like they did before, knock out a corner, then my building collapses. And I'm going to be very, very, very upset if I've waited this long and then they collapse a the corner. Um, where do you end up? You end up over there. Okay. I'm going to just make sure that this is moved out of the way. And hopefully they can get that done. And then somebody will complain at me that we have nowhere to dump materials. All right, you guys are doing a shit job for the record. No. Yeah, I want you to dig through here. I want to make sure you guys get access through here and that'll just make the whole dumping faster so we don't have to drive all the way around the island. All right, two workers. They're being turned into vehicles and then popping out. Uh, I really, really, really want to put in another house. And I really, really do not want to upgrade the houses. So I need to find alternative ways to get more people. So. First thing I need to do is I need to cut back on my water usage. Always need to cut back on the water usage. So we're going to have these. These are 30 construction parts. I can build both of them. We're going to unpause both of them. And I am also going to pause this belt again before you completely empty my storage. And I'm going to turn off your uni boost because I need whatever uni I can get my hands on. All right. So I need to get both of these guys built. I am need to plug in their steam in just a minute, and then I need to take the water that they're gonna produce, and oh shit. Collision with train. Okay, cancel, because I get a full refund at this point. Uh, crap. Uh, water's there, steam's there. Okay, it looks like we're building them over here. Yep, I can put a pipe there. I can put a pipe here. Cool. We're building them over there. All right. So I need to take my steam out this this side. This side. Okay. Out this side. Uh, can I remove that, please? And can I remove the rock? There you go. Cool. Rock go away. All right. I need to plug that into there. And then into there. Then I need to take the clean water that we're going to get out of this system. And we're going to duck that into here. I need... Ew. I need a priority and a priority. Uh, and then a priority. Okay. Uh, we need to come up with a new answer. Um, okay, so. Balances. You can now build a balancer on a balancer. So I'm going to put a balancer on my balancer. Okay. After I have balancer on my balancer, I'm going to take my new pipe of what will be fresh, lovely, clean water. Uh, bring it over here raise it up a tile and plug it into the top balancer okay i'm gonna take the other pipe and plug it in there and then we should be good to go in just one minute not enough workers yeah minus three how do we get minus three you don't need workers do you somebody's in charge of watching a cooling tower cool you've got to be kidding me All right, we're just one lap down for the moment. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So, this one is going to be a priority in. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, and then we take the water from the water from our wood collection. We're going to plug that in there as well. Uh, and that is not the priority. And then we're going to take the water pipe from here uh, and plug that into the lower pipe. Yep, that's going to be our plan. All right, so did we understand that, everybody? Let's talk through it a second time. Uh, first off, let's remove some of these so we can see what the hell we're doing. And actually, let's plug this in so it's live. Yeah, I know. Quick, do it before things complain. Okay. All right, so steam. Wonderful steam. Uh, my 24 steam is going to come in here. I'm going to turn 24 steam into 12 water, which means I'm going to reclaim half my water. Water's going to come into here. It's going to go into this balancer. This balancer has a priority in for my steam reclamation. Yes. So that's going to be the priority in. The water, ta the water tank is going to be my secondary in. And then it's going to flow into this balancer. This balancer is going to have a priority in to feed from the top balancer, which means that this becomes the primary primary, this becomes the secondary primary into this balancer, and then this is the backup to come from, well, the water pumps. Yeah. So we now have water recovery. That's something. Uh, sulfur production. Yes, I'd love to build that, but that needs people, and I don't have any people. And... No, pausing an oil pump would be a bad idea, JD. Like, I think I can. I don't think you're running... Oh, you're only one worker. Yeah, it's a very bad idea. Okay. So, I need to find people. Uh, I need to find people, and... Trucks can finally path this way. Oh, my God. You guys suck. Okay. I need you to dig. Okay, first off, trucks can definitely get through. Show me. Yes, trucks can definitely get through. It's a bad get through, but they can get through. Okay, I need you to dig this desperately so I can put in another house. Okay, like, it was another 70 people. They're all gone. All right. Um... You use 150 power at an assembly Mark III. The Mark II uses 80 power. So it works twice as fast and uses slightly less than twice the power. It also needs eight people. You need six people. Uh, it needs four maintenance to our two maintenance. So upgrading is a viable option. We're going to upgrade you and then we're going to pause you. And that should gain me a couple of workers. Cool. All right, next building. Um, we can do you as well, right? I'm at zero workers. Oh, new diggy boy. Uh, new diggy boy, I have a job. It's an important job. I need to build another house. Okay, can I have that built? And then that built? And then can we line up the camera and ramp back down to height one. Nope. There to there with a ramp in there. Okay. Just to confirm, you guys are not going to break anything. Cool. Build. Actually, don't build. Yeah, don't build. Uh, can I get cargo depot number four? Yep. And we're going to build that in the exact same tile and build. No, I don't want to spend eight uni on it. I want to spend eight uni on wood storage. No, wood storage is okay. I guess I can spend uni on it. All right. Uh, okay, so I need to still find more people. So we're going to upgrade you, quick deliver, and then I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to upgrade you, quick deliver, and then I'm going to turn you off. And that should gain, gain me like four people. Eight people, eight people, eight people's a number. I like a number. Okay. Uh, we have researched large vehicles. That's nice. Okay. I want to upgrade the captain's office. God, I hope this doesn't need more workers. Oh, that needs 100 parts. Oh, damn. Okay. It's one of those things you only do once. So I might have forgotten it needs 100 construction parts three. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, you're waiting for concrete to be brought across. And Mr. Shippy Shippy, low crude oil. 
How much do we have now? Oh, 2,100. Okay, cool. Uh, let's preemptively put a tank here. And you're going to be crude oil fill. Uh, actually, probably no, cut. Not enough workers times two. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, I know. I knew this would happen. Uh, we're going to put you there. And then I'm going to give you a backup tank to your backup tank. Uh, you're going to be a fill. You're going to be a fill. Uh, actually, can I just build them? Bugger it. With the power of uni. Because uh, you're going to change your settings as soon as you're built. Pick up cargo. Okay, export is off. Alright, uh, you are going to be a priority four. You're going to be a priority six. Uh, you're going to be import, you can't export from there, and you can't export from there either. Okay, cool. All right, not enough workers is because we have a different Mr. Shippy Shippy. We have a cargo shippy, uh, which means I have eight workers to my name. Uh, but we've got this area partially dug out. Uh, we also have no modules available for the shipyard. And my problem is going to be that if I actually know I have just enough room. Okay, guys, I know you really want to do that. Can you get this corner done? Because I feel a little bit terrible. Well, if I put that there, maybe that'll force you guys to do this one tile. It's a ghost. They can't break it. Okay, uh, can I pause you? Copy, paste, and... We'll get those built. Uh, but that means in the next episode, uh, we should... Recovery. Uh, we should be able to set out an actual cargo ship providing I can find some people to run the cargo ship and also the fluid modules we should be able to set a cargo ship out to go get cargo I'd rather have Mr. Shippy Shippy here load up with 22,000 barrels but we had problems we sorted the problems just we scraped over the line that's all that matters and that also means that this is the end of this episode uh, but now I have some construction parts yay and I'm going to be calling this episode here as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the very next episode where we probably have more problems and I need to come up with more solutions. Also, we might have a captain's office. We'll find out. But that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.